All right, folks, before we can put the M2 NVMe SSD into our HP Envy, we uh, have to take the uh, cover off. So um, some of you might have this on your uh, side like I do or sitting upright. So depending on how it is, um, this may be the easiest way to get the cover off, at least having it on the side that it's on. And um, so I've already uh, loosened it up, but uh, I think, you know, you guys can figure that part out, um, how to get that off there. Now, as you'll see, I have a uh, loose hard drive in there at the moment, but uh, you will not, uh, you know, have yours uh, floating around in there most likely. So first thing to do for safety's sake, we're going to unplug the power and... You can do that before you uh, take the case off, uh, case cover. Now what I like to do, and this is kind of hard to show, but uh, put it on the table like so towards the edge and then rotate it up. And then I put my body in here and then you've got to uh, make sure you have nothing sticking out of the uh, USBs like a thumb drive or uh, wireless uh, USB dongle and look at that cheap HP computer. I just busted that off That's not supposed to happen. All right, so um, you got to be careful with this wire down here when you take that off um, And then once that is off we can slowly slide it back up there So um, that's a bummer. I broke that but stuff happens all right, so we're going to lift up on this, which is easy enough. And then um, I've currently got uh, the SSD in there, but uh, act like you didn't see that sitting in there without a screw in it. So uh, this is what you have. And you're going to come in here. Here's your SSD. And this one is uh, Western Digital. So I will tell you... Um, the ones that will work in here for sure, this guy is going to work in here. The HP EX900, HP EX920, EX950 most likely will all work. I've done the 900. By uh, tomorrow I should know for sure about the 920, but the 950 uh, should be compatible as well. Intel Optane memory works in here, um, but uh, that's not really a storage device. Um, the Samsung PM981 will work in here as well, and also the Samsung EVO 960 and 970. All right, um, probably a lot more, so you'll have to uh, check your uh, the compatibility um, list if it so exists. All right, so that's going to go in there, and um, something to notice is when you're putting these in, you can kind of look at your uh, slot there compare the size of that because some of these will have uh, the um, SATA M2s will have two of these and one side may be uh, this might not be as wide on the other side but in this case you've only got one and you can see by that that it goes on the right, right side so put that in there at an angle pop it down now we need a screw, um, which I have, hopefully, and a screwdriver. So let me pause this. All right, so the best bet is to have a um, magnetic screwdriver, which in my case we do not have. So to do this one-handed, we're going to have to make sure the screw stays on there. And hopefully that was uh, the right size. Of course, we'll get those wires out of the way. But there you go. Uh, just, you know, don't tighten it down too hard. You do not want to crack your M2. And that's pretty much it for the installation. Now, to put this back, you've got to be careful. Obviously, I was not careful enough uh, disassembling it. So, once again, we're going to rotate this and hope that this thing doesn't bust off so here's where you got to be careful with this wire 
and you've got to line those up down there and you don't want the wire to get pinched so we are um, there we go and pop so it's in and at this point um, can plug the power back in you can leave the case cover off for the moment uh, so you make sure everything works and then you know put it on later but uh, that ends the installation of the M2 the next uh, video is uh, actually putting the operating system on so thanks for checking out the video and um, please like please subscribe thank you